So they finally added it in, a word by word and line by line follower inside of DaVinci Resolve. There's a lot of really cool new stuff in DaVinci Resolve as a whole, and especially on the Fusion page. But in this video, we're just going to talk about the redesigned follower tool. Inside of DaVinci Resolve, I'm going to go up to my effects tab and grab a fusion composition and then just drag this right down to the timeline. I'm just going to grab a text tool and connect this to the media out. This new feature works with that new S text tool as well as the 3D text tool. So anything that has a follower, you can do this on. Okay, inside of this text tool, I'm just gonna add word by word, and I'm gonna add a second line and call this line by line. All right, to actually use this, you can right click on it and do follower. We're just gonna ignore this first page at first and switch right over to the transform page. On here, we have this new offset X and Y control. If we animate it right now, this is going to do it on the character level. But if we come up to the transform and switch this down to words, it's going to do it on a word level. Just like the old follower system, in order to make any changes, we first need to add a keyframe. So let's add a keyframe on the offset X and Y and set this Y value to be zero. You always have to come back up to the follower, set this to be zero. That way it's at the middle of the screen. Then I'm going to go back to the beginning of the clip and then just drag this offset Y down until it is off the screen. When you hit play, nothing is going to happen right away. And that's because we need to specify a delay between each one of those words. To do that, switch over to the timing tab and then just add a bit of a delay. This is in frame, so if I do one, it's going to be a one frame delay in between each one of those words. Now when I hit play, you can see we have a word by word animation in just a couple of clicks. This is awesome. To make this look a little bit better, come up to the spline editor, grab the text tool, uh, select all these controls, select the keyframes and press F on your keyboard to smooth them out. And now this is what we get. It's really cool to be able to do a follower animation in DaVinci Resolve. Let's look at some of the other stuff that we can do with this. So if we go back to the modifiers tab and come back down to transform, if we want, we can also do stuff on the character level or the line level. Moving back to frame 30, let's add a keyframe on the Y rotation and then come all the way to the beginning and set this to be negative 90. Now the position is still happening on the word level, but the rotation is happening on the character level, so you can easily combine those different transform modes to create some unique animations. You can also do this with the size animation, though it's not quite as easy. You don't want to use the one on the text tab. When we do this, it's going to give you a weird result. Let me just do this real quick when I scale that down and play. It's also going to make it look like the text is changing positions as the bounding box for the text gets bigger over time. On this new version, we can go to the transform tab and we can do it either on the word, line, or character level. Then we can come down to size. Let's animate both of these on this frame. Go back to the beginning and bring these down to zero. Now we have a word by word, but they do scale from the bottom of the word. Word. To fix this, come up to the pivot, add in a keyframe, and then just drag the pivot up just a little bit until it is scaling from the center of the word. That process is a little annoying, but you get a really good result in the end. Of course, you'll want to come down here and add in some easing, just like we did on the position animation. And now we have a word by word animation. Followers can still be annoying to do, especially on the edit page. That's what my whip text tool from the editor collection is for. Right now, it's not updated to handle this word by word animation yet. But by the time DaVinci Resolve 19 comes out into the full release, I will implement that as well as the line by line animation. It saves a ton of time. And if you want to see a full video on that, I have it linked down below. Plus, make sure to watch out for some of my new DaVinci Resolve 19 content that's going to be coming out. Remember, 19 is currently in beta, so if you need stability, do not upgrade even if you see a ton of cool features like this. There's a lot of bugs in the program right now. If you have any questions, please let me know and enjoy the update.